Michelangelo once said, every block of wood or stone has a sculpture inside it, and it is the sculptor's job to find it. Seeing what is inside a raw material is one of the critical skills that leads to development. And this is perhaps why the Cultural Development Foundation, in conjunction with the Spotlight Taiwan Initiative, hosted a four-week sculpting workshop. Anthony Wilkie Jr., Senior Officer for Training, Promotion and Development at the Cultural Development Foundation, described the nature of this initiative. Today we are in the final week of our project called um, the Wood Sculpting Workshop as part of the Spotlight Taiwan Initiative. Um, it's a collaborative effort between the Cultural Development Foundation and the Embassy of the Republic of China, Taiwan. Um, we have been engaged in a four-week ongoing program where we have a facilitator from Taiwan who has been tutoring some of our local artists in the craft of wood sculpting and carving. So our goal is that they can upscale as artisans and make their work more market ready to be able to put out there um, on the global market. The call for participation brought in participants from all over the island for what Wilkie described as a successful workshop. So far we have been blessed with some amazing pieces um, and I think that even before we can culminate we can definitely already say that the program has been a success um, and we look we are looking forward to seeing how we can further the ties with Taiwan and how we can extend this project to another phase um, to get this these products on the market. With the success of this initiative Wilkie discussed the plans for future workshops. I can't say that we necessarily will be doing wood sculpting in the next phase if we receive this collaboration again. Um, but definitely there are other possibilities of what we can do with the Spotlight Taiwan project. Again, we want to see the impact coming out of these projects. So we don't necessarily want to always repeat, but we want to see some kind of continuity. So after the project is done, we want to see these artists, these participants going out there, training other people, honing their craft, and just keeping it going until another opportunity to further develop is available. Taiwanese sculptor and trainer for the program, Hank Tai, discussed the nature of the workshop, the training and introducing alternative methods to the art. Well, this workshop is about to get different exchanges from wood, from woodcraft, craftsmanship from Taiwan and St. Lucia. So the things and the craftsmanship and the wood, we do they're very different around two different countries. But I think that's a good chance for me and for the students here to learn things from each other. The workshop brought together participants from various sculptural niches from several different sectors. Rowan Joai, a beekeeper from Labri, explained. All of us have their own things doing, but this workshop particularly is to see how we can incorporate different types of wood into one sculpture. The main goal of the workshop was to train individuals who can, in turn, return to their communities to teach others the art. Spotlight Taiwan aimed to identify additional forms to train, develop, and empower solutions to see and bring out what is most valuable in something simple as a block of wood. For Choice News Now, I am Dyred Lionel.